Good morning. How's everybody on YouTube doing? Hope everybody's doing well. I'm coming into a different little gym. Um, the other one. The swimming pool was warm and it was nice, but there's a lot of people. And I tend to try to stay away from a lot of people. Not, not that it's, see that this, this one is offline, how about this one? This one's good. Um, wow. Well, this, this uh, jacuzzi here it is extremely hot. But I'm gonna get it anyways. Um, I'm gonna let go of this tripod so that I can be able to do a a single run, a single video. And mainly because I think it can do it on its own without me carrying on to it. Oh, the water is extremely hot. Hotter than the, the other gold gym. This, this jacuzzi is a little bit more old-fashioned, but it is extremely hot. Um, as much as, as much as I know that this Insta 361R is waterproof, and I'm making sure that the door is secure. Um, I'm gonna try to dip it under water, even though it says that it's waterproof up to 15 feet. It does not mention anything about dipping it into the searing hot water of a jacuzzi. But I'm gonna try it out anyway. Then I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what it does. With the one inch Leica lens, which means that it's supposed to be able to absorb, since it's still a little bit dark and it's, it's turning, it's turning, turning to daylight already, it's supposed to be made to absorb as much outside light so that I'd be able to get the the perfect picture. Is 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 my understanding. Um, I'm going to take it underwater for one more time. So yes, it, I, think it, I think it's picking up the outside light. Uh, I can see myself pretty bright. And this, this, this works better than the, the Insta3, the Insta360 One X2. This is not a 360 camera, but the other one is. But the other one doesn't pick up as much light as, as like this one does. This one has the one inch sensor. Um, it has the one inch sensor inside to pick up as as little light possible and and make my video a lot more clear, more visible. Oh. I'm going to turn it off for now. Well, I'm going to pop this so I can put it on a tripod. Alright, even, even though the battery indicator shows that it's like halfway done, and it probably is halfway done, um, I should still be able to get a good... 10, 12 minute video off of this. Um, I was going to leave it in the tripod, but I'm going to move the camera around just a bit so you can get an idea. There's, there's nobody in the pool, but when I came in, 
I said that the pool was out of service. And it, and it just might be because there seems to be some chemicals right there that are pool related. So, it might be right. I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put the tripod, tripod back where I had put it in the first place. And I'm hoping that from this far away from the camera, you should, you should still be able to hear my voice. I'm not using any type of assistance like a, like a um, iPod Pro or a Rode Wireless microphone. I'm depending only on the microphone that's built into the, originally from the factory on the Insta 361 so, I'm gonna go in the water real quick and get to check this out real quick. Most definitely the water's hot. <laughs> I can feel it in my ears. Even the the little bit of wax that I have built up on my ear eardrums are melting away. Uh, but uh, see if you can see me underwater. It should be it should be clear. I just didn't want to put it underwater too much because it's it's hot. It's hot water is not cold water. inside to have somebody guide me to the nearest water fountain where I knew that the chlorine settings were to normal so I could, so I could rinse my eyes because uh, these, these jacuzzis have more chlorine than than ordinary drinking water but um as far as the ranch and I'm, and I'm going to change the topic Ranch 101, we've been having a lot of rain lately, and as much as I love the ranch life, I have a feeling that we might end up losing a lot of watermelon. Um, if it doesn't rain today, and it doesn't rain tomorrow, and it doesn't rain for three days straight, we should be able to save the watermelon. We get another severe thunderstorm like we had one yesterday morning and the other one that we had about a week ago, um, then we pretty much lost our, our crops. So I'm hoping that uh, even though I love to see rain, I prefer to, prefer to stay away while we, while we pick up the, the watermelon. That's all I have to say for, for this morning's edition of uh, Farming Live 101. You all have a good and wonderful week. We're already on Wednesday, June the 2nd, uh, 2021. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Like and subscribe. I'm, I'm trying to see if I can get as many as much of, a, of an audience as possible. So, 
Oh, uh, my knee still hurts. Anyway, that's an off topic man. Oh, no. Conversation. You all be safe out there? Oh, just so you know, <laughs> I was closing the gates last night, and since it was too wet and muddy, I slipped and fell. Landed right on my stomach. And for some reason or another, my toes, my right toe, hit, hit a rock or something, and it hurts like hell. But doesn't seem to be any damage up to it. There's nothing wrong. But just t- touching the tip is like, like hell. It hurts a lot. Oh. I wonder if the, I wonder if the swimming pool, even though it's being treated, I wonder if the swimming pool, I wonder if we can still swim in there. Is um, before I close this topic, stay in here in the jacuzzi for long enough, you want to get inside cold water. Now, there's a, there's a, there's a shower over there, there's a stand-up shower that I can probably soak myself in there, but it'd be a lot better if I just went into the swimming pool for just a bit, but, um, we'll see what happens. Anyways. And so this evening's vlog, or tomorrow, you all behave yourselves. And if you are going to misbehave, invite me. Y'all have a wonderful day.